Hi, my name is Adrian Mileto from Miami Acupuncture Therapy and today we're going to discuss how to treat Bell's palsy using acupuncture combined with microcurrent using the Acutron Mentor. Um, basically, I'll be needling the typical points used for Bell's palsy which will involve liver 3 uh, and most of the facial points on the stomach channel uh, liver 4, 220, 220 I usually do it electronically, you know, on the affected side, um, usually with the little hand needles. Now, the difference is before I put all the needles on the face, I will do a stimulation with microcurrent, which will enhance the result and speed up the result. Usually I'll start with here. I will start with, let's suppose left side is the affected side. I will put a negative probe because these could be polarized. This one in the middle. Liver two. And usually I'll have the patient hold the other end, um, unless the patient is very short, I can just kind of, I'll just have the patient hold it and I'll put it right on bladder one. I'll put it setting negative to positive. And then you could just send the energy and stimulate. And usually that would be the first step. And usually that alone will recuperate some of the sensation back to the patient. Um, basically acupuncture and this type of treatment can get very good results with those palsy. A lot of physicians and medical doctors say that um, there's really no remedy for it, that you just have to wait for it to go on its own and that's not true as I have seen in many cases that I've personally treated. Um, then after I do that, I can do local to distal using the dermatomes and acupuncture channels. We can do large intestine 4 to large intestine 20. And I can also do the large intestine 20 to the other side since it crisscrosses. And then I do like both sides just to be sure. And then I change the setting, which is used, there's a program here, it's called the energy light rejuvenation, which stimulates the face for aesthetic, aesthetic purposes. However, this could be used clinically also to stimulate sensation in the face, where you can stimulate the acupuncture points. Um, you could do the beginning of the end of each meridian here, like then the end of the triple warmer and the beginning of the bladder channel. The beginning of the stomach channel and the end of the large intestine channel. And then sometimes I could just kind of run it along the trigeminal nerve, which usually needs to be stimulated. So I'll just kind of like run it down the trigeminal and I'll just do the different points you know, following the stomach channel. And I can just do like GB14 here. And I can just kind of do it like in an upward direction, like bringing the chi up just to stimulate the whole area. And just make sure the pros are making contact the whole way. You just do it for the whole face and maybe this part of the neck and then you could change your setting where you do like a holding where you could tone up the muscles and lift usually the mouth would be deviated so you just kind of pull the muscles back and then just do a lifting technique and then that could be done with all the different muscles in the face and then you get a result 
um, so that after I'm done with the microcurrent, that's when I put the little needles using the high needles. And then I leave the patient to rest for a little bit. And that is our protocol for our Bell's Palsy. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel and check us out for all our other videos.